Who doesn't love a nice drive? Perhaps driving forever would be a bit much, but with enough skill that does indeed seem to be a possibility with this community content created racer. You start out in a generic car, with a generic paint job and a generic license plate, at generic level 1. As you play the game and gain points you gain experience, and as you level up new cars, paint modes, license plates and build features are unlocked. These goodies can also be purchased in store, the game is a freemium title after all, and the super experience mode is worth spending some extra coin on if you want to level up quickly. As for the game itself, the left and right steering buttons are on either side of the screen, as well as two brake buttons for easy access. Braking is necessary as many of the corners in the game can be quite tight, and any bumps into the wall or other vehicles will negate your combo and greatly impact your score. If you make it to the end of the short track, another one will load up, and you keep racing till you run out of time. Here's where the clever part comes in. All the tracks are user created. It's easy to see why too. Opening up build mode, one will see that a track can be created in a few seconds. Oh sure, most people are going to want to add details and play around with the height and make sure their course is perfect, but with track creation this easy, everyone who tries the game will most likely be contributing. Where Forever Drive falls short is that the controls themselves are a little finicky, and you don't always feel like failing that turn was entirely your fault. Also, the game has some issues with sudden changes in height on some created tracks, where cars get stuck. These faults are minimal though, and everyone should give Forever Drive a download. It is free after all, if only to contribute to the ever-growing number of tracks available to race on. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.